guess this is the hold? It's awfully spacious for one. Oh, isn't this a pleasant surprise? There's a treasure chest here. The view from here is beautiful. And the wind feels great. You certainly took your time. <gasps> Usus! I suspected it was you. How long did you intend to make me wait? I have wondered whether you would even bother to show up. trouble you made us go through to get here? There are eyes everywhere in this city. It would have drawn too much attention for you to come here directly. That was just my way of looking out for you. Perhaps you could try thanking me. <sighs> <laughs> At least you're well. That's what matters. It really is great to see you again, Yusis. The same to you. I'm impressed you were able to overcome the many ordeals you've no doubt faced to make it this far. But should I be surprised, I wonder? I've always had high expectations of you. <laughs> I doubt I would have been able to come this far if not for everyone's help, though. Still, thanks, Yusis. <laughs> this means that all of Class 7 is finally together again. And I couldn't be more overwhelmed with joy. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> You've been a tremendous part of making this happen. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea what Sharon is doing here, but I suppose it doesn't matter right now. Uses? I've been kept abreast of your activities through the Noble Alliance's information network. So I'm well aware you've been fighting their forces across the land using that ash-colored knight of yours. As well as the fact that you've chosen not to ally yourselves with the Imperial Army, but instead fight as a third faction. <sighs> oh, has word of Valimar been getting around that much? That said, I didn't arrange for us to meet like this just to see one another again. I did so that I could make the difference between our respective positions crystal clear. What do you mean? I see. You have no intention of coming with us, do you? No! This is a joke, right? You surely saw this coming. I'm the son of one of the most influential figures in the Noble Alliance. And as I imagine you're already aware, I've been assisting him and his provincial army in fighting this war. Well, we know, but... Is this what you believe to be your duty as a noble? Meanwhile, my brother is acting as the Alliance Force's Chief of Staff. And as for my father... He was responsible for hiring Jaegers to attack Ymir. Which is not only your home, but the home of all the kind-hearted people who welcomed me with open arms earlier in the year. <sighs> can only apologize. If I'd returned home earlier, then perhaps... No. I don't even have the right to do that much. Yet with that in mind, it should be clear that we can't go back to the way things were. The gulf between us is simply too vast to be filled. Our paths have parted. That is reality. Eusis, please! It doesn't have to be like this, Eusis. <sighs> I will guarantee you safe passage out of the city. If you deem it necessary, I can even have you escorted out by car. However, once you're out, we can no longer... Uses. I can understand why you feel somewhat responsible for what happened in Ymir. I can understand why you, as an Alborea, feel as though certain things are inherently expected of you. Actually, I should probably tell you that Dad woke up the other day. All that's left is for him to get his stamina back now. He'll make a full recovery. That... that's good news. I would have liked to pay him a visit myself. But... with circumstances as they are... Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not telling you that to make you feel guilty. I'm telling you because I don't want that to be your reason for what you're doing. Pardon? What I want to know is what you want to do, and the path you want to take. If you want to help your family because you agree with the ideals of the Noble Alliance, I won't stop you. But if that's not what you want to do, if you're only helping because you feel like you have to for whatever reason, if you're doing it because you feel responsible for what happened to my dad, which, by the way, you aren't, or if you're doing it because as much as you want to come with us, you feel like you don't have the right to, then you're nothing more than a coward who's running away. And I don't believe that's how a real Erebonian noble should act. They should do what they believe is right, and do it with pride. If Dad was here now, he'd say the same thing. Uh. It's kind of harsh. It might sound cold, but he's right. We're only students, still learning more about the world around us. Alone, we don't have the experience or knowledge to go around proposing solutions to the conflicts in this country. Not to the war going on around us, nor to the class divides that started it. But that's alone. And that's why I think we all need to come together as a class again. We're all inexperienced, but we all come from different backgrounds and social standings, and we each have unique experiences to share. It's only by pulling those together that we can overcome whatever life throws at us. It's worked for us during every one of our field studies. Why wouldn't it work now? 
<sighs> He's right, Yusus. Indeed. Reen had to remind me of that, too, you know. It's always nerve-wracking for those of us who have to watch you pull crazy stunts all the time, I hope you know. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> I see my suspicions were dead on. No matter the circumstances, you've always been the one to blow away my hesitations. Then you'll come with us? Still, no matter what you say, I am an Alborea, and as such I have duties and responsibilities to fulfill. If you are determined not to back down, then we will have to settle this with a duel, just as you and Crow did one month ago. A duel? Follow me, Reen. Our destination is Aurochs Canyon. There we shall settle this matter once and for all. Well, well. I wasn't counting on this. I'd only intended to gather information on the Crimson Wings, and yet here I am, bearing witness to such a compelling scene. I've no duty to report anything I see to Duke Galborea, but I suppose there isn't any harm in watching how things unfold. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. I don't care. I'll just go kill time in town or something. Oh no! Not this time! You're coming with me and that's that! I'm here to support you, not babysit you! You're the one with a number, not me! Try acting like it! Fine, fine. <laughs> what a pain. There's a familiar face among them, so this might not be a total waste of time. Isn't this Angelica's bike? I thought she entrusted it to you after she withdrew, Reen. What in the world is it doing here? I made use of my family's influence to have it brought here from the Academy. Since then, it's been left in the hands of a skilled mechanic, so it's been well maintained. You will be riding that for our duel. You mean our duel will be a race between me on this bike and you on that horse? Partially. The finish line will be the plateau where we fought that monster during our field study. Once there, we shall begin a sword fight to determine the victor. Whoever arrives first will therefore have the advantage of more time to prepare. Oh. We did stuff like that back in the core too. We called them chase battles. You had to make good use of the terrain to win. That does sound quite similar to what I had in mind. Okay. I understand what we're going to do. So if I win, you're coming with us, right? You're not backing out? Correct. In the unlikely event that you defeat me, I will concede and go with you. But know this, I have absolutely no intention of holding back. That bike of yours may have the advantage in terms of speed, but I know this area like the back of my hand. Do not expect this to be an easy battle. Oh, I won't. I'll be coming at you with all I've got. I would expect no less. They're way too fired up about this. <laughs> we'll have to simply stand aside and see what unfolds. Right. We'll go and take up places along the course to watch. In that case, I will signal when to begin. Rest assured, I wouldn't dream of giving either party an unfair advantage. That works for me. 
How about you, Yusis? Very well. Let's begin. Good luck, Reen. Go get it. I won't let you down. I'm ready, Yusis. As am I. Now demonstrate to me the strength of your resolve. All right. Take your positions, please. Three, two, one, begin! Hang in there, Reen! Go, go! Take a left here. Use this path here. Everyone's really into this. Yes, I won. Your performance was admirable, I'll admit. The advantage is mine, Yusis. Let's settle this once and for all. No matter. A handicap like this will hardly pose a problem for me. Come at me, Reen! Let's do this! Come at me with all you have! Let's move! Ha! Now's our chance! Don't let it pass! Let's move! My turn. My turn!
I'm just getting started. My turn. Yeah. That's pretty good. Marcus, activate. Here I go. I had in mind. Here I go. Be gone. Too slow. What? Let's move. Yeah. Here I go. I'm not done yet. Yeah, that's pretty good. I won't give up. Gather on my blade. Oh, this isn't... Okay, it's safe for now. <laughs> Looks like I win this one. I should have expected no less. It's hard to believe how much your swordsmanship has improved in such a short period of time. Don't sell yourself short, Yusus. If I'd held back even a little, I'd be the one kneeling on the ground right now. Your skills really shone through, both in the race and our duel. <laughs> I can't pretend to have held back either. The victory is well and truly yours, Reen. Reen! Yusus! Are you both all right? Oh, hey guys. Oh, you're already finished? Looks like we've got a winner. <laughs> the verdict should be plainly obvious. Yeah, I managed to scrape through. It was pretty close though. Hmm. Was it? Does that mean you'll come back with us? I fought with all my might. I performed to the very best of my abilities, holding nothing back. And even then, I couldn't compare to your strength and resolve. With that, I have no more reservations. The path I should take is the same as yours. <laughs> About time. We're happy to have you with us, of course. We'll find the answers we seek together. And together, we'll bring Crow back too. You can count on me. Starting today, I am a member of Class 7 once again. I'll show my father and brother just how I believe one bearing the name Alborea should live. <sighs> I feel embarrassed.
embarrassed just watching you two. There's nothing to feel embarrassed about. This is just part of how we are as a class. <laughs> That's very true. There are some things you learn only by directly confronting those you care about. I know this much from experience. <laughs> you and I both know a thing or two about that, don't we, Fee? Sure do. <laughs> Congratulations on reuniting nearly everyone in Class 7. I suppose now is the best time to start thinking about what to do next. <laughs> I wouldn't celebrate your paltry victory just yet. Who was that? Up there. Who are they? One of them is wearing armor. Oh dear. Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. I'm afraid I've come to thoroughly put a damper on your reunion. I hope you don't mind. She knows us? Just who are you? <laughs> well, at least one among you should already be familiar with me. But it wouldn't hurt to introduce myself for the benefit of the others. I am a lady after all. My name is Duvali. I'm the head knight of the Stalritter, an esteemed group led by Ouroboros' seventh Anglis in all her glory. And it is by her order that I have come here today. You're with Ouroboros? So the Steel Maiden sent you, did she? Ugh, looks like our luck just ran out. Might I ask if the Stall Ritter is somehow related to the Eisen Ritter? The name is eerily similar. Even their only difference in name is related, with iron and steel being two metals. Oh, you're the Arsade, aren't you? <laughs> are you curious? Hmm? I'll bet you are. Well, I'm not going to tell you. Pardon? <laughs> Does it bug you? Does it? Your curiosity is going to build and build and eat away at you until you can't even sleep at night. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Uh, is she really with Ouroboros? I'm not quite that curious. I wouldn't want to pressure you into discussing something you aren't comfortable sharing. Hold on a minute! There's no point in pretending you don't care. I know full well you do! She doesn't act like it, but there's no doubting she's extremely powerful. Indeed. She may not be an enforcer, but not for lack of skill. Although the power of the man beside her is even more frightening. Leaving that aside for the moment... I've already introduced myself. It's only proper for you to do... Ugh! Why are you still up there? Get down here right this instant! <sighs> what do you need me for? You can handle them just fine yourself. Oh, for goodness sake! You're supposed to be number one! Would it kill you to even put the tiniest bit of effort into your job? Number one? Then he's an enforcer just like Sharon and Phantom Thief B. Indeed. I happen to be number nine. An enforcer's number is not in any way indicative of their combat prowess. But by coincidence, his may actually be so. He's easily among the strongest in Ouroboros. Perhaps even the strongest. <laughs> Never tried fighting Steel to see which one of us gets the top spot, though. That race before was kind of fun to watch, so let's see what you got. The name's McBurn. 
Some call me the almighty conflagration. And talk is cheap. I hate conversations that just drag on and on. So let's skip to the good part, okay? The power radiating from him is... incredible. What are those flames? My swift swordsmanship was taught to me by my illustrious lord, the Steel Maiden. And you haven't a chance in hell of withstanding it. I've gone to the trouble of coming down here. Do me a favor and try lasting a minute before you call it quits. Your arrogance will be your undoing. Give them everything you've got. Of course! Don't die too easy, Amigo. Now, draw your weapons! With pleasure. Here I go. Here I go! Second form! Very well. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Understood. Leave this to me. How would you all like some tea? <laughs> it will only take a moment to cool. Well, you have my thanks. Thank you. My turn. All right, let's do this. Understood. Very well. Your end is sure! Go! Saber! Come on! Ha <laughs> ha! This isn't quite ideal. If you would, I'll handle this! Right! Rain upon us! Here I go! Here goes! Overdrive! Second form. Gale! Now's our chance! Let's go, everyone! Understood! Very well! Leave this to me! Got you! 
My turn. Handle this. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Leave it to me. Let's move. Sorry. Not to worry. Very well. I leave this to you. I'll take it from here. Analyzing the enemy's vitals. Analysis complete. I can do this. Happening. How can they be so strong? I've never fought anyone so strong in my life. Not by a long shot. I didn't expect we would have a chance against him head on. We were able to knock that knight down at least. Ugh. I can't believe I lost to mere students. And of course, one of them had to be an arson. This is so humiliating! I'll give you a break. Were you even trying? I thought you beat Luve once. Hard to believe with that sorry side of a fight. I did. Granted, he won the other 99 or so battles. And I was! I simply slipped, that's all! Mm hmm? Interesting. You mixed by any chance? What are you talking about? Nothing. If you haven't noticed yourself, I'm not gonna be the one to tell you. If you haven't, it's probably not much anyway. Huh? What are you... Anyway, I'm out of here. You can take care of handing him over to the Duke. Y you can't possibly be serious! You won't help even a teensy bit? 
That's a little much to handle all by myself. Nah, I'm tired of this already. Maybe if one of them could seriously give me a run for my Mira, I'd consider it, but... One run for your Mira coming right up! Huh? It couldn't be. <laughs> she finally made it. Looks like I was right to hurry. I wasn't expecting to find you fighting monsters of this caliber. Your... Instructor Sarah? Sorry for the wait. But don't you worry your pretty little head's none. Now that I'm here, I won't let them lay a finger on you. How could I call myself your homeroom teacher if I did? <laughs> Thanks. You're the purple lightning, aren't you? Huh. Hey, I've heard of you. What's Sarah doing here? We are dreaming, are we? Was this your doing, Eusis? <laughs> I used a secret channel to contact her. She was to be our insurance if things took a turn for the worse. Really? <laughs> I'm delighted to see that you're well, Lady Sarah. Thanks, I guess. Still, looks like you've been fighting some of your old pals for the sake of my kids. And I can give credit where it's due. Thanks. Ugh. Do you seriously want to keep fighting? Surely you don't believe you'll win because you're an A-rank racer. <laughs> you ask me, this is more like it. Not like there are any towns nearby I can burn down, so... Maybe it's time I stopped holding back. <laughs> Stay away from him! Those are just like... Hold on a moment! I know I said I wanted to help, but I'd rather you didn't set me on fire in the process! What the devil are you doing up there? Sounds like... Isn't that Duke Alborea? Father? Or no? Lord Eusis. Eusis, what is the meaning of this? You dare to leave a letter like that and simply disappear? Have you gone mad? Letter? Hey, Duke. You mind staying out of this? I was getting all fired up there before you came and ruined everything. Silence! This has nothing to do with you! I will not stand for behavior like this, Eusis. You will do as I say! Your selfish actions will smear mud on the good Alborea name! Is that what you want? My intentions are as I outlined in the contents of that letter. I intend to walk my own path with my classmates at my side. I have no wish to dirty the Alborea name. On the contrary, I wish to find for myself how I should live as one who bears it. Uses. What is this drivel? I always knew what a mistake it was to accept you into this family! Come forth, Knights of Kreutzen! Oh boy, here comes trouble. These must be the Soldats from Oryx Fort. I don't recognize that one either. It must be a new model. Yeah, there goes any interest I have left. Have a blast. See ya. Always be so indifferent! Reen! Right. Looks like it's your turn to shine! Are you gonna call Valimar? No matter the results, we can't turn back. 
Take care, Master Reen. Heed my call. Balamar, the Ashen Knight! Acknowledged. So that's the foul fiend that caused trouble for the soldiers from the Twin Dragon's Bridge. Oh, so that's the Ashen Knight? The very same great knight that fought near Trista at that. And I can sense even more mana coming from it now than I could then. <laughs> its form is most impressive. Knights. With them in our custody, the top spot in the Alliance is as good as mine. Show them the terrifying strength of the newest addition to our army. Yes, Your Grace. That one looks tough. Heavily armored, too. But I'm sure Valimar can take it. Right! Let's do this! I'm counting on you, Valimar! I'll do so. Use your links well!
will lose. Allow me! Think he's ready, Celine? He should be. Uh. Reen! Give us a hand, Emma! We're going to open the spirit path! Right! Transportation spell? Time to make our escape! Wait! Usis! You can't leave like this! I won't allow it! Farewell for now, Father. 
please give my regards to Rufus as well. It is my dearest wish that you won't repeat the mistake you made with Ymir a second time. Arno, might I ask you to return the horse I borrowed to the mansion? As you wish, Lord Eusus. Wait! Wait, I say! That is an order, Eusus! Welcome home, Rain. I see you were able to find the rest of your classmates. Yeah, this is everyone. It sure wasn't easy. I'm just glad we made it back in one piece. The last part was definitely the biggest pain. Indeed. Regardless, we wouldn't have been able to make it here if not for you all coming to find us. Thank you. <laughs> and naturally, that goes for you too, Celine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's great to see you guys again. The winds must have been on your side. It sounds like there was some trouble along the way, but you came back, and that's all that matters. I can't say I'm surprised to find you're in good health, though. Ill weeds grow apace, after all. <laughs> I could say the same about you. Given how useless you are at anything you can't learn from a book, part of me expected we would next meet with you behind bars. Again. Ugh. It hasn't even been 30 damn seconds and I already want to kill you. Okay, my turn! Aww, why'd you move out of the way? 
Because you were trying to hug me, obviously. Oh, come on. You know you want to. While I'd expected you to come back with your classmates, I didn't think you'd come back with Sarah, too. Not that anything had ever happened to you, of all people. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Certainly has gotten lively around here. <laughs> it sure has. You're looking a lot better, Dad. I'm still a ways from being back to my old self, but I'm finding it a lot easier to walk around. Toval and Captain Claire have kindly been handling both the village's security and correspondence with the other regions. Which means I can focus on my health. <laughs> We're not doing anything special, really. We're just glad that you've been getting better. That's not true at all. You've done so much for us, I don't even know where to begin thanking you. And Reen, I want you to know that we're both so proud of what you've accomplished. It couldn't have been easy coming this far, but you did it. You should hold your head high. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to do any of it alone. It was only possible because everyone was with me. <laughs> well, I think we've been standing out here long enough. I've had rooms prepared for you all at the Phoenix Wing, so go ahead and rest there. Oh, nice. Isn't that where we stayed during our last visit? That's the one. I imagine you must all be exhausted after all that's transpired in the past few days. The open-air bath's finally been repaired, too. If you get the chance, you should enjoy a nice, relaxing bath after all your hard work. Are you there? Uh, Elisa! I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. There's no need to shout. I, um, I actually already knew that you were here. I'd asked the manager beforehand. 
So I thought now might be a good time to talk with you. Um, pardon? <sighs> There's really nothing like a warm bath on a cold winter's day. Gazing up at the night sky, feeling the warmth of the spring coursing through your whole body. This is such bliss. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. It, it's my favorite time of year to relax in the springs, too. But both of us bathing in here together is really, really not a good idea. Doesn't it bother you even a little? The two of us here alone feels kind of... I don't know. What's the big deal? I'm covered up, aren't I? I'd appreciate it if you didn't stare so hard, though. I might have managed to pluck up the courage to come in here, but it's still kind of embarrassing. Well... I... wasn't doing it on purpose. Sorry. But what made you need to pluck up the courage to come in here to begin with? You said you wanted to talk. Anything in particular? Well, um... I just wanted to thank you. Thank me? Thank me for what? I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. You have, though. And for everything, really. I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And I wanted to thank you for coming all the way to Nord to get me. Maybe we can't be here with Crow, but because of you, the rest of us are back together again. Because of me? That's not true. Besides, it was only because of you guys that I was able to do anything at all. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Still, I feel like Class 7 is what it is because you're at its center. We had faith that you get back up on your feet and fight, and it's because you followed through that we've come this far. I'm not the only one who feels that way either. So, thank you, Reen. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, come on! Knock it off with the laughing! It wasn't easy to come here and say all of this, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. So I couldn't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> well, I can accept that. And now that you know, I don't want you to ever forget it. We've been through so much together, Reen. We have a bond so strong, nothing can ever break it. Don't worry. I won't forget. And now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. Of course.